Hey guys, so this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm doing a drunk review of my new helmet. So this is a uh, kit, or uh, shall we say the KYT, a uh, KYT helmet, uh, KYT Worldcast helmet. So this is the helmet bag that comes with it. Um, I bought this, so this is new. I was able to use it in my long ride when I went to Sagada riding my Ducati Monster. So the path was I took North to Sun Expressway, Asitex, Steeplex, some winding roads. Uh, it was a cool weather, and I'm doing a review of how uh, this thing um, uh, performed. So first, first thing, since I'm doing a review, I'm doing an overall, so I don't have the box. Uh, so I can't show you how the box looks like, no need for that, but it comes with the helmet bag, so this is the bag that it comes with, and it, it's different with other helmet bags. I've had different helmets, I've had a Shoei, Arai, AGV, uh, I have the AGV Corsa, I had an Arai XT4, I have a Nol I had a Nolan. Uh, pretty much high-end helmets, I had an, I have, I still have my Alice 2. So, if you look at the helmet bags, this is a bit different because this is a strap uh, and then the zipper Well, all the others have just a simple bag uh, with a, a shut up cat, you know, pussy, fa pussy ass fuck. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, as I'm telling you, uh, I'm drunk. Nah. Let's have some beer. Oh. This is my third glass, by the way. It's Red Horse. It's uh, 6 in the morning. Uh, Alright, so this is the bag. This is really nice because uh, if you if you buy a helmet, it, it's just the bag alone would be different. You would have something like this, uh, a normal cloth bag, but it's not going to have zippers and it's not going to have a strap. It's adjustable, so this is the kind of strap really that you can put on your shoulder to carry around. Unlike the other ones, which is just a piece of a, well, two pieces of a of a rope tied together with a certain uh, what do you call that? Okay, <coughs> hey, hey there, cat. Don't mess with my boot. With a certain uh. You know that that lock that locks it in place. So this is different. I like this. So those high-end helmet helmets, arise, showy, whatever. Take note. This is a proper helmet bag. So let me open it. Uh, let, let me just put my phone on my thigh. Um, yeah, so you can see something. It's hard to do it. So there you go. I open it up, and it's a KYT. You just take it out. Um, KYT, KYT, come on, man, get off, get off, get off. So, as you can see, I already have my GoPro mount on it because that's what I used when I went to Sagada. But going back to the bag, it has a nice soft cloth inside so it doesn't scratch. And something, uh, it's nice, also nice on the outside, but this one's really soft. So this is nice for the helmet. And this is the KYT helmet that I got. Why did I get the KYT helmet? Um, three reasons. Number one, I wanted to get a new sport touring helmet because the showy Neotech was really uh, too big for me. So when I do high speeds at 180 kilometers per hour on certain areas <laughs> where I am, uh, I can safely do that. Um, it there's a lot of wind and it's a bit stressful on the neck so I wanted to find something that's really my size and it's, it's for touring and when I did some research the KYT actually had an internal sun visor but unfortunately as of this time February 2017 the dealer here in the in the Philippines still does not have the new Vendetta 2 because this is a KYT Vendetta 2 so I'm not saying it's kite it I'm saying it, it as KYT because uh, it, because it's KYT, I'm not saying it's kite, not saying it's kit. I'm saying it's KYT. If my pronunciation is wrong, it should be kite or KYT, whatever. It's KYT for me. 
Um, so it doesn't have the internal sun visor, which is a really nice if you have a sport touring because I, I we are sport touring because in my Neo Tech. Uh, well, once you experience an internal sun visor, you never go back. Once you go internal sun visor, you never go back. So, um, but they don't have it here yet. So, but still, I got this one because I was already in Kaloocan, um, Kaloocan area where they're uh, they're selling this they're selling this in moto industria since i was already there might as well get one and i i, I can use this as a my uh, my uh commuter helmet anyway so so i got this and the second one well i was disappointed that we, it does not get this internal sun visor but hey uh, i wear eyeglasses anyway when i ride it, it's transition so i can get some uh transition there and the second thing that why i got this one is because it's high vis it's it's, it's um it's safe to have a high vis helmet um so that so if uh somebody is behind you or oh yeah when a car is behind you they can see that hey high vis i can see i can see because something very important important when you're riding a motorcycle is you need to be seen so this helmet that's it third reason why i got a kyt is because i want to try a kyt i see more the gb riders uh doing it uh doing it so that means it's safe and i want to try different kinds of helmets so here i am trying it um next reason why i got this is um well pretty much that's it why did I got why why did I get this design? It's because um, I like the high vis. I'm not really a uh, so the 29 is I think Yanoni. This 2017 is no longer riding for Ducati. So who's the maniac again? The maniac, whoever it is. Yeah, I think it's Yanoni or Dovi. I, yeah, I think it's Yanoni. I forgot. Um, 2017 is no longer riding for uh, Ducati, but. I got this because not because I'm a, I'm a Yanoni fan, but it's because I like the sign that it's high vis and it's a Stucati. The color is Super Legera red, not Ducati red. This is Super Legera. Yeah. So if you think, hey, it's fake, it's blur or whatever, um, that's super. That's Super Legera for you. This is Ducati Corse. Uh, logo if you're familiar with it and I'm touching this one and this is not really a sticker but I think it's painted on so all these are paint um, I tried the other helmets like the Arai in the Arai and the H HJC helmets that I have this is a sticker and there's a clear coat on top of it so you can feel that there's a budge here that this is a sticker but all these are flat okay now the helmet is good for the price so I like it it did perform well at the high speeds when I was uh, riding although it did fog up um, it has a nice lock here so when you close it there's a lock here lock that up you won't be able to open it open it up it's easy it has vents here so yeah I can feel the ventilation working nice cool weather so there's one, two vents there, an exhaust vent here on the rear. Sorry if the camera is a bit, because uh, I'm drunk. Well, yeah, no, no, no. I think I'm okay. I'm okay, so I'm gonna drink some more. All right, uh, so there's some vent here and some uh, venting here in the front so you have all one two three intake vents an exhaust vent on the rear stop scratching hey stop scratching my uh, uh i have a gun case underneath that so um so yeah the venting's okay um it has an air pump system See there, um, air pump system. Come on, focus up. Yeah, there you go. It has an air pump system here that you can pump. So 
here. There's a pump here, right in front. So you can pump that to get some air into the cheek pad so it becomes snug. And then this one you press to let the air out. So that's a nice touch. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry for that one. Uh, there's a chin curtain here. Now it's removable, I'm not removing it though. So it's there, red here. Uh, what else? I like the paint finish here. There's a clear coat on it. It's nice. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a really a proper vent or it's just plastic here. But overall, I like the quality. Um, it, it's, it's like an AGV because uh, uh, the this thing is pointed. So when you have it hanging like that, you can wiggle around. Especially when I put my GoPro here. They, um, so when you put it down like that, it, it tilts like it's, it tilts. So be careful when you're handling this um, because this one's pointed. It's pointed because of aerodynamics. And when you're riding, it's like this. Ugh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see, for my GoPro, I have a microphone there that goes all the way at the back. So if you're planning to go Bluetooth on this, you can hide your microphone underneath there. Then there's some cutaway here, I think, where you can snap your uh, your uh, Bluetooth communicator if you're planning to do one. But what I have here is an extension of my 3.5 millimeter. Um, cause, uh, cause the mic that I have here, since I'm doing some model vlog, is a 3.5 millimeter microphone, so it's hooked up there. And then and I have an extension cord here that extends, which allows me to run it all the way from inside, going outside here in this cutout, so it doesn't get in the way. And then I have it wrap around here on my slide mount, and then this thing goes into the GoPro. Uh, original microphone adapter and then the adapter goes into my GoPro and I have a side mount um, uh, So uh, How do I like it? What do I d do not like about it now well, number one I Don't like the visor It says it's anti-UV uh, I'll take that as a yes, even though it's clear Um it fogs up because when I was in Zagata, it was really cold, so I need to open it up. And it, it does have those, some of those snaps, so that's so there's one, how many? One, two, all right, I'm being a monkey now using my feet. So one, two, three, four, five, five. So it's five, so that's nice. But then what's, when it was fogging up, if I use just one, it, there's rain. Uh, sorry, there, there's a lot of wind that is that's going to come in, which is going to take out the fog from your from your from the visor. But I don't like that, so I just uh, use this one. So there's a little there, somewhere in the middle between the the between the first snap there. So um, so just like this, I just hold that in and then let some air in, so it does not fog up. These are properly usable with a glove hand. So as I had leather gloves on it, it's properly usable. All the vents. I don't like the visor again because it's too thin. See that it flexes. So that might be a bit unsafe. And when you tap on it, you can you can hear that it's not that thick. Um, my AGV course is thick. My showy, my my uh. My Kberg, my LS2, it's really thick, but this one is uh, soft. And then if you're going to take out the divisor, it's going to be fairly easy. Because uh, there's a snap here, and if you open it up, all the way up, there's a snap here, and then you just take this down there, and then you can snap this off. So it's easy. And then again, going back to the visor, why I don't like it, and I'm doing monkey mode here with my using my feet, is because this is all the way it goes up. This is already all the way up, and when you're riding, and you're positioned like this, as you can see, the visor 
maybe this could use one more uh, space going up because it yeah see that it, it blocks a bit of your view if you really want it opened you can still see the visor so there you go uh, I bought this KYT in uh, Moto Industria really nice it has a DOT sticker it's safe don't worry it's safe I don't want to test how safe it is but if it's good enough for Moto GP it's good enough for me and uh, I think um, they're using thermoplastic so don't worry about that it's safe and the thing when I bought this I don't know how the, what the price was so I had a bit of cash when I went there and when I was about to buy this I said okay I'll get it how much I got this for three thousand eight hundred fifty that's less than a hundred dollars and to my surprise mm, okay all right let me get some uh, let me take out some more money from my wallet <laughs> And then and I bought this, so this is nice. KYT, are you? If you're thinking of getting a KYT, go ahead. This is a really nice helmet for the money. I'm not going to say it's cheap. I'd say it's affordable, because cheap means bad quality. Affordable means it's good price. So this is good, really good value for money. So yeah, I like the I like this graphics. Mm-hmm. There you go, that's my review. The KYC helmet. Oh, it lasts six, 16 minutes. I was thinking if it was just 10 minutes. Let's drink some more. Cheers, guys. Yeah. It's not Kirin, it's Red Horse. Those of you guys who are abroad, go try red. Go try red horse. It's nice. It's sweet. This is my third glass, and I'm, <sighs> I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have a, a a bottle of red horse for a li for that. That's just one liter, and it cost me what? Hmm. I think it's a it's a dollar so a dollar of really good beer that's strong that's one of the reasons why you come into the Philippines come here drink up don't ride your bike though get drunk and sleep we have U uber here so get drunk uber sleep enjoy then in the morning you can go ride your bike uh, same, same thing what we did when we go went to Sagada um we rode, we were tired, we drank, we got drunk, we slept in the area, and then we arrived in the morning. So, that's the motorcycle lifestyle. Cheers, guys. Bye.